It was the spring of 1945. Canada had been at war since 1939, but here at home in Vancouver, people were going about their lives when at noon on March the 6th, there was a tremendous blast on the waterfront. Fire and smoke billowed into the air. Had the war come to this place? Meet Al Coombs. On that brisk March morning, Al was a strapping 15-year-old galley boy on the Green Hill Park. Eight men died. This is Al's story. We were going to Australia. We had a lot of supplies and we had a bunch of liquor on board, we had sulfur on board. Um, a lot of things that would explode. I saw a bunch of smoke on the deck, you know, in front of me, so I told, turned to the cook and said, hey, cook, you got a fire outside. A bunch of smoke, I'm going to go outside and see what it's all about. There was a half a dozen guys down in the hull trying to work on this fire that was down there. And I leaned forward, looked into the hatch, and I let out a holler, anybody else down there? Is there anybody else down there? And no answer, and then suddenly all the smoke disappeared. I stuck my nose over, and the, the flames scared me. I pulled, and the heat came up, and I pulled my head back. <laughs> she blew. <laughs> there was metal flying. There was everything was flying. There was paper, big 1,000, 1,500-pound rolls of newsprint. It was up in the air like toilet paper, shredding like mad, and the paper, oh, that was just... <laughs> I hit the water clean, went right down to the mud line underneath the ship, the bottom of the, sh the bottom. Somebody put their head over the wharf and saw me, and they swung a rope down to me. I finally got that around my shoulders. They pulled me to the shoreline. So I ended up in the hospital for about, I think it was 16 days or so, something like that. Come out of the hospital, and we were supposed to go down for some shipwreck pay. I, if I recollect, they paid us, I think it was $25. 25. 